guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna bring you a massive Target dollar spot haul guys Target has done it again they have put out their summer stuff and included in that is their baby shower and also bridal shower line of items and I am a sucker for stuff like that I'm always hosting or I'm always going to events and stuff so I like to stock up on this stuff when it's available from the Target dollar spot and then I just store it for whenever those events come up because usually if they come up in the fall and winter months you have to pay top dollar on websites like Etsy or um, Party City or OrientalTrading.com to get this type of stuff and it's usually for more than a dollar or three dollars. So in today's video, it is pretty massive. I'm gonna warn you now, I've not really taken anything out of the boxes, um, but let's just jump right into the video. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So the first thing, and I just wanna apologize, if you hear a dog, that's Lady, she's outside. Um, the first thing, I have are some trays um, I told you guys in previous videos that my brother is having a baby shower in a couple of weeks and I am helping my mom host it and so one of the things I wanted to do was have a mimosa bar and that's very very popular so I am going to have um, non-alcoholic mimosas basically is what they are with um, fresh fruit garnishments and you put them in champagne flutes so I thought these trays here would be pretty to line the champagne flutes on and the shower is kind of like a garden spring like theme so maybe put some um, flowers and stuff at the bottom of the shelf um, I'm sorry at the bottom of the tray and the bottom of the tray actually has a design this was five dollars from the Target dollar spot and I can't decide whether I wanted the white or the natural wood for the shower because I think we're gonna use both tones so of course I got both they were both five dollars and afterwards you can use them from for home decor you can use them on your kitchen counter on coffee tables um, on the edge of your bed at the end of your bed um, so I thought five dollars was a good buy for these so I went ahead and picked up both colors that were available The next thing that I picked up, I picked up quite a few chalkboards, I always do, because I find them to be the best value in the Target dollar spot, but this one was especially very cute because you could use it for a lot of different events. And basically it says, help us capture the fun, and it has a space for you to put the hashtag for social media. Um, and you can use these for weddings, showers, um, housewarming, any type of events. And so this was part of the bridal and baby shower collection because it does have the floral tag anything with that floral tag has was part of that collection but it was only three dollars so I thought that was a good deal and it's pretty large so you can hang it somewhere you can sit it on an easel somewhere um, and just write in your hashtag and you use regular chalk and then you can wipe it off and use it for many many more events to come okay so the next step, I picked up, so my brother's shower is going to be floral, like I said, so a lot of pinks and purples, he's having a girl, um, and peaches, and we're going to accent with gold. So I saw this in the Target dollar spot for $5, and I thought it was a good uh, deal. This is one of those um, script balloons, and you inflate it with regular air, not helium. Um, and it goes on, a, it's on a string. So it's kind of like a banner, a balloon banner. Um, but it says baby in gold. So I thought this would be cute to put over by the mimosa bar, anything like that. So I picked that up. This is not for the shower. I just thought it was cute and I wanted to give it to um, my brother and his wife. Basically, it they are milestone cards and it comes with a wood stand. And you just, you know, put each month marker in the stand and take a picture of the baby and so this was three dollars i thought that was a good deal there is another one that i've been looking for it's the blocks that has the months and the weeks with numbers um but i've went to three targets so far and i haven't found it hopefully i will but if not this will do as well i thought this was a cute gift to go along with the cute gift i also picked up more chalkboards for my brother and his wife or for the baby um, this one I thought was really really cute it's two-sided actually so on the first side it says hello my name is I was born on this day at this time I weighed this amount length and can't wait and uh, can't wait to meet you um, this was three dollars and then on the back it says hi there I am blank months old I can do this I love this I'm this uh, amount of pounds and ounces and inches and I have how many teeth so I thought this was cute, and this is lined in like a lilac color, so this is the girl one. They did have one lined in like a mint greenish blue color. I assume that was for boy. 
keeping along with the chalkboards I also got them this one and this is also part of the baby line this was three dollars as well on the front it says my first and you can write pretty much whatever you want in here and then on the back it says blank months old so you can use this as photo props as well when you take in their monthly milestone pictures so I picked this up for them as well okay what else I am going to a few baby showers with my brothers my cousin um so i picked up some cards these are part of their uh baby line as well this one says hello little one and i thought this was really really cute especially for a girl they are only one dollar and for them to have glitter and raised designs on them i thought this was a good deal these look better than dollar tree cards so i picked up one of those i also picked up this one it says baby girl in gold metallic gold and it has um, pink and orange stripes on it and this was a dollar as well so I picked up those I do have a wedding card somewhere in here because I'm going to a wedding I don't know where it is but anyway um, I picked up a ton of games um, not necessarily for my brother's shower because my mom is doing the games and she's already purchased those but I'm pretty sure I'll use them for someone else's shower um, and I picked up bridal and baby I picked up as much stuff as I could so this is one of the baby shower game it's called baby buzzword game and basically it says please grab a clothespin and clip it on tight try not to say baby with all of your might when someone says baby snatch up their pen if you have the most at the end then you win and it's so pretty the colors are like a muted uh green and peachy color and i just thought this was really really cute and it comes with 20 clothes pins but i already have a ton of these clothes pins from the dollar tree anyway so i can just add to it so i only bought one of these it does come with two cards um so that you can put them you know in two different places around the room and then to put the clothes pins in they also had these little pails and they were floral and matches the print so I thought lining this with some tissue paper like maybe some pink tissue paper or mint green tissue paper and then dumping all of the clothes pins with the excess ones that I have as well will be really really cute for the game and putting this up on like an easel or something I thought this would be really really nice so I purchased that and the games were also three dollars the pails were three dollars as well I think they did have some smaller ones that weren't printed that were a dollar um, but I really like the print of this so I bought that one they also had a ton of different banners. So I picked up three of these banners because our accent color is gold for my brother's shower. And um, they are dipped in the glittery gold. So they were $3. I picked up three of them. And I think with my, what my idea for these is, is I'm going to embellish the top of them just with a flower. So it'll be like a floral banner um, going along with the garden slash floral theme. So I picked up three of these. Let's see. I picked up a few things that were not from the Target dollar spot that I'm going to show you at the end. So I'm trying to uh, separate those things. Also, um, going along with the baby in the bridal shower theme, I went ahead and this was the wedding card. I'm going to a wedding soon. And I thought this was so pretty. It says love on it. Again, it has the glitter and the raised design. This was only a dollar. So I went ahead and picked this up as well. Moving along, they also had tons of different chalkboards, like I told you guys. So this was one of the sets that I picked up. This was, I don't have this color. I do have this in pink, but I did not have this mint green color. And I thought this was really pretty because you can also use these um, for gender reveal parties. So to use the mint for the blue boy and then the pink for the girl would be really, really pretty. And that's different from using the bright pink and the you know bright blue so i got this this is a chalkboard easel and you could also use it to display the sign for the games i was telling you so just set it on there i thought that would be cute this was three dollars i believe i only found one of these um i saw some more but i didn't need as many of these so i only got one of these but to match that i did get two of these and these are four count um, chalkboard easels. These are the mini ones. And right now I only have the natural wood and black ones. So I thought this would be pretty to do for like a brunch, a baby shower, because it's a softer color and it's also white and not natural. So these were $3 as well. You get four in a pack. So I did buy two packs of these. And as far as the baby shower games, they had tons of them. So this was the second one. This is baby shower bingo. And basically um, when it's time to open gifts, uh everybody well actually before it's time to open gifts everybody writes down um 
items in each box that they think the mommy and daddy to be will get and then when it's time to open gifts you cross them off as they open them and whoever gets you know five in a row like bingo wins the game so i picked up two of these they are 20 in a pack and they were three dollars if you could see that picked up two of the baby shower bingo games they also had uh baby babble which is a word scramble game everybody knows about this game it's 20 in a pack um, and it comes with the answer key as well. These were three dollars here So I picked up uh, two packs of these for a total of 40 count and most of the games I've tried to pick up I tried to pick up two um, This game right here was a, actually a bait uh, Bridal shower game and I picked I went ahead and picked up three of these because this is just so cute I mean, I could not pass this up. Look at this game shaped like a purse like this is so cute, and it's called What's in Your Purse, and it's a bridal shower game, not a baby shower game. I'm pretty sure you could play it at a baby shower game, but it's, it's meant for a bridal shower, and it's so cute. And each item you find is under a point system, so at the end, whoever has the most points wins. This was $3 as well. There's 20 sheets in a pack, so I went ahead and picked up three packs of these um, just because this is so cute, and I couldn't pass those up. The other thing that I picked up let's see is the he said she said game again this is a bridal shower game it's 20 cards in a pack and this is basically you have to um guess what the bride answers were already were basically and so it's stuff like who said i love you first who takes the longest to get ready and you have to either pick the ring for the bride or the tie for the groom and your answers have to match the answers that I guess the bride um, submitted. This was $3 each, so I picked up two of these for 40 count. I also picked up, um, this is just a bridal shower fill in the blank. It's not really a game, there's 20 sheets in here. They were also $3 at the Target dollar spot. And basically, um, you fill in the blanks and you're basically writing advice to the bride-to-be. It says, my name is blank and I've known the bride for a blank amount of years. I blank all the way from blank for the couple and I'm so blank they're finally tying the knot. They are the most blank blank and I wish them blank blank for many years to come. The best advice to the bride-to-be, don't forget to blank the night before the wedding and remember to blank and blank on your wedding day. Make sure you laugh and, and always be blank to each other. Finally, as always, say blank. Love your name. So I thought that was cute um, to do. They basically are advice cards, um, but they look really, really pretty. And they're 20 in a pack, so I got two packs for 40. Let's see what else I got. Oh, I got the clothespin game for the bridal shower as well. This one says, please grab a clothespin and clip it on tight. Try not to say bride, groom, or wedding with all of your might. When someone says one of these buzzwords, snatch up their pin. If you have the most at the end, then you win. And again, it comes with 20 pins on the back, but you can add to these. They sell these at the Dollar Tree, um, and this was $3. Again, it comes with two of these cards in there, so you can display them in two different places. I am so sorry about Lady. She is not happy about being outside right now. Um, let's see what else. The last bridal game that I got, it says, who knows the bride the best? And so there's 20 in a pack in this one, of course, $3 as well. And this one, you just fill out questions. Um, where did the bride meet the groom? Um, where are they honeymooning? What's the bride's middle name? So just questions like that whoever gets all of them or the most right wins the game and so I got two packs of these for 40 count as well back to baby stuff let's see what else I got for baby stuff they had these napkins I thought these were so pretty again I don't think I'm going to use these for my brother's shower um but I just got them they were a dollar it's 10 napkins in each pack so I only saw three packs only got three 30 napkins um and they say oh baby and they have like the uh floral print on them they're so pretty so I went ahead and picked up three packs of these and then to match these I found the matching coasters and I think I purchased three of these as well and these were only a dollar as well you can see that the napkins were a dollar as well um, and the coasters have six in them so I picked up three of these as well and I thought they were really really nice they say oh baby on them they did have them in the bridal shower stuff um, I think they had some in pink that said she said yes 
um, and they had some Mr. and Mrs. ones, but I didn't like those because they didn't really match the floral theme, so I didn't get those. Let's see. They also had hanging signs um, for a bridal shower. I guess you could use these for any type of baby shower or bridal shower or any type of event, but um, they say drinks, dance floor, and sweets and treats, and they were really, really pretty. They're in the natural wood um, sign, so this one says sweets and treats on it. This one says dance floor, and then this one says drinks. And there has been word that they do have these signs as well that are blank. I did not see them in my Target dollar spots, the ones that I went to. Um, but if I do find them, I probably will pick them up because you can put your own adhesive letters on them or write on them yourself. Um, so I thought that would be cute as well. I did pick up the natural chalkboard ones um, for other events, and these were also $3, you can see on there and these are just three plain arrow signs so i thought this would be cute as well here is another pack of those coasters i told you i picked up let's see what else so along with the baby shower and bridal shower stuff they also put out a ton of summer stuff and i thought it was really cute and i plan to have like certain events and stuff in the summertime just to have the ladies over for drinks and you know food and stuff like that in the evening so I picked up these drink parasols I thought they were cute it's eight in a pack I picked up two packs so that we can make our drinks really pretty with these umbrellas they were only a dollar each so you really can't beat that I got those and then I also picked up these napkins I thought they were really cute I picked up two packs of them they are ten napkins in a pack for only one dollar and they say girls just want to have Sun in metallic gold and they're hot pink so I thought this was pretty I picked up two of those They also have, I don't know if you know, but Target, every season, they put out new stuff. The old stuff that didn't sell, they put it in the back of the store for clearance. And so this stuff was, I think, 70% off, 75% off. And this was from the cleaning stuff from the spring line. I did a Target dollar spot haul um, about a month or and some change ago, and um, I hauled a lot of their cleaning stuff. So I found a couple more items. Um, and they were heavily, heavily discounted. This, I think, was like 10 cents or 30 cents or something. These are more labels. Um, they were originally a dollar, and you put them on cleaning stuff um, and laundry stuff. So I thought this was cute. I got another one of these for a fraction of the price. I did get some more scrub brushes because these were 30 cents. And I thought that was a good deal. Originally $3. So to get two of them. And it's in the rose pattern that matches the rest of the stuff that I have. I thought that was a good deal. And then I finally got the apron to match. This was again like um, 30 cents. So I picked this up. I don't know what I'll use this for. But it matches my set. So I went ahead and got it. And then the last thing I got were the other scrub brushes. And I really like these because these have the handles. The other ones don't. And these, again, were $0.30, cents, originally $3. So I did pick these up as well. Now, with that, certain things um, you know pretty much will be left over. Certain things you know will not. So if you see something that you really like in the Target dollar spot and you think it's going to be a popular item, you should buy it at the full price because it probably won't be there the next season when they switch out everything. Um, for example, I really wanted to get some more of the glass carafes with the cork lids. I have enough. I purchased four when they came out, but I was hoping that they would um, make it to clearance and they didn't. So I'm glad I got the four that I got, but it would have been great to get two more or something like that. But they usually come out with those every year so I can get some more next year. Um, but that's just an example of you know, that was a hot item and they pretty much are no more left because I didn't see them in any of the three targets I went to. Okay, so the other stuff is not from the Target dollar spot. This stuff is for the baby shower though, these uh, next couple of things. So I just wanted to show them to you. Again, we are accenting my brother's uh, floral themed baby shower or garden themed baby shower with gold. So these are going to be the straws for the mimos mimosas and they are gonna go in the um, disposable champagne flute glasses so I thought the gold would be pretty and these are the spritz brand I believe these were like a dollar 79 cents for 20 so I went ahead and picked up two packs um I'm not sure how many I'll set out on the tray the um champagne flutes but um I, I figure 40 was enough I don't know that I'll use that many 
And then also along those same lines, I also got a spritz balloon banner. And this one is just like the other baby one that I showed you. But this one says, oh baby, I think it's a little bigger. But you blow it up yourself with regular air, not helium. And it comes with the string, um, I believe. It, there's a little tube in the back of it. And that's what you use to inflate it. So I don't know that this one comes with the ribbon. It may. Yes, it does come with the ribbon. And so you can just hang this. So I figured this would be cute to hang over the food station or something like that. Um, and this was $7, I believe. So. And then the last thing I got was home decor related. This is not from the Target Dollar Spot. But I hauled these in. Um, I think my last home decor haul, I got them on clearance. They were originally $19.99. I got them for $16 and some change. I ordered them online. And I was in Target and I found one more. And this was ringing up $5.98. So I went ahead and purchased it because, again, these were originally $19.99, 20 bucks. So I got it for $5.98 or $6. And I thought that was a steal. So I did go ahead and pick this up. That is all I got from Target, guys, this go round. I hope you guys liked what I got. If you're interested, go run out to your nearest Target now because things are flying off the shelves as always. The Target dollar spot section gets you every time. It's as soon as you walk in the store and they have the cutest items for the best prices. So until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.